When you're camping in Arizona, quite often you'll see a car or a van or a motorhome with the hood up, which is the kind of the universal signal for I have engine trouble, but that's not the case. Um, they put their hoods up at night, or all day actually, to keep the pack rats from going in there. The pack, la pack rats don't like the light. And uh, with the hood up, it'll keep the pack rats out of your engine. Well, I uh, thought that I had a squirrel problem here with my van. Turns out I might have bigger problems. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I figured out one of the problems with my BMW. I think it's got fleas, but they didn't get in there by themselves. I'm starting to wish I had a squirrel problem. I figured out what was wrong with the van, too. Sleep well, my friend. Well, if anybody's got any ideas about how to keep the skunks and the possums out of my car and my van, let me know in the comments. <laughs> uh, well, that was, a, of course, a possum and a big one, but not all the possums around here are that big. Jalisco actually has a pygmy possum that's indigenous to this area. And uh, several years ago, I got one out of the pool. It's happened again. We have a visitor in the pool. Are you having a bad time? Little baby possum? I'm gonna help you. I know, it's really tough. You get in there, you can't get out. You wanna do a little swimming for me? Let me help you. There you go. Yeah, we got you. We got you. Oops. Oh. Sorry. I believe that this is a pygmy possum. It's not a baby possum, it's a pygmy possum. You are a wet little guy, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you'll be okay when you dry out. You're the second one I've seen in 20 years. I had another one. You're pretty cute. Don't go in the pool, Doom Hazel. Are you kidding me? Uh, you're not very smart. You can't get out of there. You'll swim till you drowned. I don't know where you live, but let's just put you out here for a while. Okay, here. Climb on something else. Go ahead. Get down.
You just get in there and hide. You can live under the pig. Yeah. Oh, coming out. And where are you going? What should I do with you? Huh? You need to just... Last time I had one of these, uh, I let it go and it cr went across the grass and it went up and over that wall and disappeared. Well, I'm gonna leave him alone, just let him dry out for a while. I'll check on him later tonight. Too bad it's this time of day, it's just evening and you're not gonna have any sunshine to dry him off. Be happy, little guy. Sure got big ears. Well, let's go check on the pygmy possum. I brought a paper towel. If he's still there, I'll see if I can't dry him off a little bit. Hello, little guy. How you doing? Huh? How you doing? Can I dry you off a little bit? Hmm? Oh, you're so cold, I'll bet you. Huh? Yeah. Still got bright eyes. Are you gonna be okay? Huh? Dang. Okay, I'll check on you again later. It's not shivering. And I did check later, and he was gone. So my neighbor Carol is wanting to go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. I'm home at the beginning of uh, April, and that post or stick or whatever it was, just the top of it, maybe about a foot of the top of it was sticking out of the water, and now, the base is out of the water, yeah, and so the water level has gone down. It was up there. It was touching when you first came. Oh yeah, huh? It was, it was, it was touching the, the the wall. The wall. Yeah, so it's gone down quite a bit. So it's time to rain. Look at all the cormorants. Suppose they'll be bothered by us. But you will be bothered if you don't watch who you're watching. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're, you're right. Uh, this way. Oh, and look at, there's one. Oh, he flew. The kiskity. The kiskities are just mean aggressive and here, here the sitting at the top of the thing going I'm higher than you king of the hill king of the hill yeah. and, and the, uh, the little um, Coot, coots. coots do you know coots aren't ducks they're not ducks no they're not ducks they don't even have webbed feet You're paying attention to me. Oh, dog content. Beautiful dog. And here's Bruno. Hey, claim that don't tree. Say, no, no. We don't say Bruno. No, no, no. Cowbird? Yeah, I think so. The 
morning walk along the lake. In the water. Killdeers. Huh? Oh yeah, somebody been taking care of him. Where'd Bruno go? Oh, he's over there in the bushes. Hmm. Oh, please tell me it's that one. What? Hello? Wonder how long this boat ramp's been here. Thousands and of years. How long ago it was that the dog <laughs> ran through the wet cement. <laughs> a friend called me from Tucson the other day, said it was 110 degrees. So I sent her this screenshot of what it is here in Ahi, Jalisco, Mexico. People are always asking me, why do I go north in the wintertime and south in the summertime? Well, because down here south in the summertime is cool. And up there north in Arizona in the wintertime is warm. It's time for me to participate in one of the traditional National Treasures of Mexico, the siesta. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.